Welcome back guys, Patrick here. And in this video, we're given this table here and it shows the number of part-time and full-time workers at a company in both 2010 and 2011. And we gotta answer these two questions here. So number one, we gotta find the percentage change of part-time workers from 2010 to 2011. So how, by what percentage did the part-time workers change? So notice the part-time workers increase from 90 to 108. So for number one, just in general, the percentage change in anything, it's always the new value minus the old value all over the old value, right? You always divide it by the base that you're working from, right? So it's gonna be 90 in this case. The new value is 108 minus 90 over 90. This would be what, uh, 18 over 90? That gives us 0 0.2. And uh, actually, if you want the percentage, this is going to give you a decimal, so you could just multiply that by 100. So you multiply this by 100, and you'd end up with 20%. So the number of part-time workers from 2010 to 2011 increased by 20% here. So you're always using this formula for percentage change. Remember that you're dividing by the old value the base value that you're working from. Right, so that's the answer for number one, 20%. Let's just circle it over here. And then number two, uh, what are they asking? If the full-time workers increase by 15% from 2010 to 2011, we gotta find X. So we gotta find the number of full-time workers in 2010. Okay, so different ways to sort of show this. Um, we can take this X value, and if it's gonna grow by 15%, then we would multiply it by 1.15, right? One plus whatever that percentage increase or decrease is divided by 100. So one plus 15 over 100, one plus 0.15, which is 1.15. That's where I got that from. Right, and that is going to equal uh, 253. Right, so here what we would do is just divide this 253 by 1.15. And when you do this, you'd end up getting 220. So that ends up being the answer. That's what X ends up being. That's the number of full time workers in 2010. Another way you could did this is you could have did that new minus old over old. I actually don't recommend going about it this way uh, for this particular question. I think this is more simple. But if you did it this way, uh, the percentage increase is 15%. Now remember, this is going to give us a decimal. So this would be 0.15. And what you could do is you could just plug in, what's the new value? 253 minus the old value x all over x the old value is x, 0.15. And then what you could do is you can cross multiply here. 253 minus x times one is just 253 minus x, 0.15 times x gives us 0.15 x. And then this is like a negative one x here. So when you bring this over, you'd have one x plus 0.15 x, those are like terms, and you'd end up with 1.15 x, right? Which is over here equaling 253. So with all this, we would just end up getting to that equation right there. And then X would just be 253 divided by 1.15, which is 220. So whichever way you do it, that's your final answer.